chair here is the bloody North Star. And I have to take the air cleaner out to get to this the bottom of this air, this transmission line. I put a new radiator, just took it for the torture test, worked fine, except got a leak down here. And yeah, so this is the one you have to take the air box, part of the air box off to check the transmission fluid. Then you have to uh, cover part of the air box while you check check it while it's running. It's a little it's a little tricky, but it can be done. And so if we look down here, you can see that bottom right down there, that bottom transmission cooler line is leaking. It's probably it's probably not the fitting. I put that fitting on, it worked fine, there's no leaks there. It's probably gonna be that hose, because that hose almost does like a 90. It's a short hose. Um, I heard that these GM hoses are notoriously leaky hoses. So it's way down there, it's hard to get to, a, to it with a wrench. Basically, in order to check the tightness on that thing, you might be able to get to it to it through the bottom but it's almost impossible to get a wrench on it from up here yeah it's just real hard and so basically in order to put a new line in I believe the, the whole radiator has to come out again and so yeah they don't make these easy to work on I can tell you that Okay, putting the new hose in. This bottom hose, the bottom transmission line. When I put the new radiator in, apparently I jiggled it a little bit too much and it sprung a leak down here. So, time to put a new one in. And then one thing I've noticed is that there's little places where these hoses rub up against the side of the engine. And what I've done is put some electrical tape around some of the edges that uh, are worn, like right there, along here. This is this is actually worn into this. I can feel it inside here. It's, it's got a ridge right there. So, yeah. That's just like an accident waiting to happen in my world, but it's fixed now. Okay, that trucker is on there right now, you know, he's got a little bit of a longer thread on that, so it's sticking out a little bit. Down there, we're on there, the thread's a little bit longer, but it's in there. Boy, that was pretty tricky to do. Here's the old one here. and. That's the one I twisted. I tried to twist to get it off, and then I think it was leaking down here on this bottom one. Uh, but what happened? Uh, and this is the one where you have to take this resonating chamber off. This is somehow a, a uh, some sort of uh, mm, it's kind of like a shock absorber for the air intake. And basically, what I did, what I've done before, I'll just take a piece of plastic and seal this up. This is where it goes over, right there. And because you can only check your uh, transmission fluid when it's running to get an accurate uh, reading. And you can see the transmission dipstick is like right in, in here, in between everything. Right there. So, right there. And so basically, and we got a pack of wires we got to move around too. But that's how I check the fluid 